Welcome to Fun Over Games. So yesterday in the news, a woman from Fort Myers, Florida, won $10 million on a scratch-off ticket, a $25 ticket. It's a $10 million. You don't hear prizes that big, usually. Um, and she took the lump sum of $7.3 million, and the store received a $20,000 bonus. That's a pretty big lump sum. Um, I was expecting it to be lower. Because I calculated the discount rate at 2.1%. And I've seen discount rates at 3.6%. So if it was a, a, other discount rates, other states use, she'd get $6 million. But instead, they used a lower discount rate, so she ended up with $7.3 I don't know how they use, they calculate the discount rates. Maybe... The bigger prizes get lower rates, or certain states have different rates. And I know the rates change probably on a daily basis, because I think they base it off of something like LIBOR or some other discount rate. And she'll end up paying 39% in taxes, because the highest tax bracket is 39.6%. But it's kind of a blended rate. So the first $9,000 you make, you pay 10% on that. And then the next amount, up to 37000 you pay 15%. And then every dollar over 418401 you pay 39.6%. And, that, and that's ba your um, lottery winnings are taxed as ordinary income. So that's assuming she doesn't have any income. So just say, for simplicity purposes, she made $418,000, $401 at a current job. I know that's really high. If that was the case, all the lottery winnings would get taxed at 39.6% because she already hit that threshold of 418. So I, I, this is assuming she made nothing at her regular job. So if she made 20000 at a regular job, she would be in this tax bracket to start to 15%. And Florida has no state taxes on lottery winnings. Some states do. So after taxes, she'll end up with $4.5 million. So 45% of what she originally won of the original $10 million, which is high, higher than most. Usually it's around... 35 to 40%, it seems. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.